million dollars today, what would you get? What would you buy? Hold on, my house, a car. Okay. I would put me in a oh. in a good school. You said a house, car. <laughs> you okay. would get you in a good school. School. And the rest, how would they say? First car, food, food stamps. Oh my God! You wouldn't if you had a million dollars. You would need food stamps. Hey, why? You want to start a business? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so. um, I'm gonna get chocolate. 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 I'm gonna get <sighs> what do you feel that you need? A toothbrush. <laughs> what would you need? Robots cards. Right. Robots cards. PS4 cards. Uh, a PS4 card. I'm buying all four digits. Four digits. You're going to see my debit card. Okay. You said PS4. PS4 debit card. You got the Elon Robots. What about cards? Well, I don't want to get robots. Robots. Okay. I do. Sorry, up there. You said phones and computers? And iPads, all that. Um, my school, baby. Computers. Computers. I'm gonna put this essential behind me. Hey, pay attention. Hey. Hey. That's what the essential is for. You no, know, this ETC stands for electron. No. Wait, yes, it <laughs> no, it do not. It stands for essential, meaning oh. more. Okay. Everything that falls under the electron, that's what that means. I saw my own company. Studio. You said a recording studio. That goes on the business. So let me put essential under here. Oh, okay, that goes on the business. Okay, what else? Quick. So, basically, with a million dollars, the only thing that y'all would do is buy a car, clothes, hygiene products, robots, boards, a PS5, a phone, a computer, or electronic. And that's it. Take her to school. Take her to people you love. A house. School. Buy a bodyguard. Buy a house. And start a business. Yes. Yes. And Jimmy clothes and shoes. Why not clothes? So I want you to buy me more. Oh, we didn't put shoes up here. That's what I need. They need more for this one. What else? I would have said designer, but that's still clothes. You want designer clothes? Okay, you'll you buy designer clothes. Fit bucks. It costs like a million dollars. I bought me a limo. I was well. A limo. I bought me a whole building, just to be honest. A whole building. Okay. Ooh, sell a hotel. That goes with cars. Sell a hotel. A hotel. Yeah. Who said that about a hotel? Ooh, I just wanted a hotel business. That's what I basically said. I feel like make my own air. That's what I basically said. No, 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 no. She said babysitter. A dealership. A dealership is just a business. This is not a dealership. Okay, somebody said dealership. Hey, that was you. No, he said, he said you could sell a car and I said a dealership. It don't matter. So, quick dancing. God damn! The only thing that y'all will buy is all but. Do y'all know the difference between guns and butts? Uh -huh. Yes. Guns huh. just sit there. No. Look. Do y'all know the difference between guns and butts? Yes. Yeah. Kind of. Do y'all want me to explain it? Yes. What all can happen to this car? It can get robbed. It can get robbed. It can get robbed. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Broken into. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so theft. It can get shot Stolen. up. Oh, whatever, whatever. Shot up. It can get busted. You get your car accident. Who's that accident? Bye, bye. Your car accident. Shot up. Busted. Busted. Can you get wet? Busted. Let's just say a lot of stuff can happen to it. So that means that this can disappear, right? Yeah. yeah. If you buy clothes, what can happen to it? They can get on fire. They get stolen. So, fire. Stolen. Okay, you said what jewel? Fire stolen. Uh huh? Um, 
Um, okay. They can they can um who basically. And then you're crazy. You're crazy and They can they can get smaller. Uh, then Lori said, "Wait, mom." No, what you say? Somebody can destroy it, right? Mm -hmm. So that means that you won't. It don't matter that it's a designer. It still can get all these things. It can catch on fire. It get stolen. It get get too small, or somebody else can destroy it, right? Yeah. So that means that you could lose this too, right? Yeah. Hygiene products is kind of over here a little bit. That's a that's a necessity. Um, uh, Robox cord. What can happen to it? Yeah. It can get thrown away. They can get stolen. But like some people don't know what a robot's gift card is. They can okay. throw it away. They can get cut Okay. Uh, and once you use it, you take it away. 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 Okay, and then what you say, Tide? Oh, once you use it, it can't, uh, you can't use it again. So you okay. Can't so one time, one time use. Right? Once you buy it one time. But that means you gotta still use it. That means you gotta spend money. You'll be more of a consumer, which consumer means someone that's buying stuff consistently. Okay? So these are all things that can happen to the robots, folks. So it means that you eventually lose more money than gain. What can happen to the PS4? Somebody can throw it. Is it stolen? It can like, get took in by your mama. Somebody can throw it, okay, throw it, it off a donkey. Taken. It can get broke. You can put you damage. Can... Uh, what else? And uh. It can get water damage. Well, they, they all go into damage. Chip right? damage. Yeah. yeah. So you already spent four hundred and. Like, like, $450 on that. So once that's lost, then it's just a loss. Dang, you ain't earned no money from it, right? Phones. Yeah. Phones. You can drop it in water. If it's dropping in a bucket. Damage. Um, it can get like I said. Oh, when I'm by a car, if you drop your phone, when I'm by a car, like it. It can get lost. Let go and it's broken. Oh, yeah, it can get lost. Okay. So, so that's still, you just spent one, you, you're still a consumer. That means you gotta go buy another phone, right? Yeah. Yes. Computer. Same thing as a phone. Same thing as a phone. So these are the same things. Same thing as everything, for real. So these are the same things. Shoes. Stolen. Stolen. Stole oh, when you're coming to your house, you can get stolen. Damn, it's broken. Yeah. It can get size. Too small. You can grow out. Yeah. Grow out. It can get caught on fire. Okay. So. <laughs> So you spent a million dollars, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Okay, yeah. You spent a million dollars on getting all this stuff. And after you spent all this money, you down to zero. You ain't got no money. So how you how 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 are you gonna get the next million dollars? Well, by business. So these are your guns. Butter means it can get melted away, it can get damaged, it can get broken, it can get sold, it can get put it together. It can, anything can happen to it and you lose, and it lose value. Cars, when you leave, you know that when you leave off of a car dealership lot, as soon as you drive off the lot and hit the next block, that car loses value. It ain't even worth what you just paid for it. When you buy clothes and you go to the store and you say, hey, these clothes, I couldn't fit this, this, this shirt that you just sold me, this designer Gucci shirt that you just sold me. It's too big. It's too small. It don't fit right on me. It's not. It's not going to have the same value. They're gonna be like, uh, we can give you a refund or exchange it or whatever. You have it. It's it's, it's not nothing to it. But let's say you invested that whole million dollars into just these things, right? The whole million dollars is it. So what can you invest into? You can buy your house. You buy your business, you buy your hotel, you buy your dealership, you buy land. You can invest into your credit. You can uh, you can invest into uh. Who you talking to? If you spent your whole million dollars on just these things, what can happen? You can get more money. You a profit. And, and you can like you can Profit, you can uh, not waste all your money. You can get more money. That's profit. Is, uh, if you buy a house, you can buy a, a house for $275,000. Let's say it. Right? Go school on that. 
you got, if you add, if you any these, this up, how could you have, you still have that one friend? How, how? Exactly. Anyway, back to, you can buy a house for $250,000, right? And if you go somewhere, let's say you want to do re renovations. Renovations mean to put more in. Yes, yeah, exactly. Upgrade the house. Let's say you put a swimming pool in there. Oh, shit. Swimming pool in there. Let's say you change the cabinets. Let's say you, uh, you knocked the floor out or whatever. You added some rooms in there. Right? Now you can up the value of this house. The value has increased, went up. So now you can go back and sell this house for 40, no, $400,000. So that's a profit. You made an extra $175,000 off of what you spent on it. That's, that's with everything in life. But if you buy these cars, if, if you're not a dealer, meaning that you're buying a car for the purpose of selling it, mm -hmm. and you just want to buy you a car, they you didn't proper speed. anything, you were more of a consumer. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. It's $125,000. It's $125,000? Yeah. Well, I ain't been schooling in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and do you want this? Huh? What is it? Uh, uh, uh. Is that money? Yeah, I want that. This? No, I don't want them damn babies. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you see how the value of, of what you spent on it went up. Over here, on this side, everything that you spent, you gained zero from, right? If you start a business, you can only profit. What? You can actually like sell some of your stuff, like you said, some shoes, clothes. But it still ain't the value that you purchased it from. Nobody's gonna pay you full price for something that's worn, torn, or have wear on it. If you go buy some Jordans right now today, let's say you go to the store and you buy a $250 pair of Jordans, right? You wore them one time and you just don't like the color of them, right? When you go try to sell them, you can't sell them for $250. Somebody's gonna be like, a lot of people gonna be like, man, let me get $175. Oh shit, I don't know how I just did that. $175. How much did you lose? Uh, $250. No. <laughs> No, you didn't lose two fifty. You lost seventy five dollars, right? Is that right, Denori? Is that right? Oh no! Is that right? Two fifty one minus one seventy five. Ain't that seventy five dollars? Oh, that's one hundred and no one twenty five. One twenty five. One seventy five minus two fifty. It's seventy five dollars. It's seventy five dollars. Talking about one trip. That means that you lost seventy five dollars. And that's with anything. If you go buy a laptop and you put programs and stuff on there and don't know how to restart the laptop back over, someone is going to want to pay you less. That's what they create pawn shops for. Because they're always willing to pay you less for. Um, if you go create, if you go start a business, what can happen to your business? You can, like, become, if you're not the manager already, you can become the manager. Sometimes you can rule the business. The CEO. Well, okay, we're going to do that. If you start a business, then you are the CEO for, of the business. That's one thing. You said what? You can lose the business, but how would you lose the business? The only way that most people lose their business is because they spent their profit and they forgot the hustle of their business. Okay? So let's say you start a nail, a nail salon. And let's say, just like how you just played this out. You bought the nail salon for two hundred seventy five hundred thousand dollars, and then you got one twenty five back in profit based off of your clientele that came through. If you spent this, then your business is ultimately going to fail. It has no choice but to go down because of the profit that you have spent on it has went down. Okay. So, but what else? What good can come from a business? Well, you can you can get you can get a whole bunch of money. Hmm? Like, you have a lot of money. You can become rich. If you save your profit, you can you, it, it can go up. A lot of people can come to your business. You can get more money. You can get more income. Everything. Income. Steady income. You ain't got to work for nobody else. You work for yourself. Your money keeps going up. The more people that come to you. The more people that you get, the more people that's going to invest and make this 
make your profit go up. Right? Yeah, mom. Whoever said this hotel is a brilliant idea. You know how many rooms come inside of a hotel room? Let's say you got 35 rooms in a hotel. And you charge everybody. Calm down. And you charge everybody 425. No, let me say. I'm gonna say 150 per night. Somebody add that up for me because I don't feel like it. Okay. 35 times 150. Yeah, 35 times 150. Man. 5,250. Okay. That means your, your hotel can make 5,000. What? 250. And 250 dollars per night. And then it's 365 days. 365 days. So now time is at $5,250 times 365. Five thousand two hundred and fifty times three hundred and fifty times five thousand two hundred and fifty times three hundred and sixty-five. Yeah, that's a lot of money. How much is it? Uh, I guess that's one million. Not, I guess that's one million. One thousand one hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars. One hundred one one million nine hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars. That's a lot of money. That's a year. A year. And you only spent this $250,000 on that hotel. That's a lot of money. Right? Okay. I'm going to do it. So, a dealership. When you start a dealership, let's say you get 35 cars in every day. You charge people. Um, Let's say every car... And we're going to break this down way better. Okay, let's say you got 15 cars on the lot. And each of the cars are worth $2,500 a piece, right? And 15 times $2,500. No, it's not. 15 times $2,500. That ain't $3,000. No, that's $300. $300,000. Seven. No, it's thirty-seven. It's three hundred and seventy-five hundred dollars. Thousand dollars. That's three thousand. Thirty-seven thousand dollars. 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 Thirty-seven thousand if you get 15 cars sold in a day, you can make $37,000. But that's not, not everybody has the money to come pay $2,500 a day for a car. Well, we have put it in the camera. So we make commercial, baby. Huh? Make but the, the thing of it is, as long as you have the property, it never loses the value. You can't drive the car and then suspect somebody to still pay the $2,500. But as long as you still have the property and you invest into the car, you can either go up. You can't do nothing but go up. Let's say you get a car and the motor is out of it and you put a brand new motor. That means that you ain't gonna sell that car for $2,500. You're gonna sell it for $4,000. Mom, 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 this is what they got city. Stop playing. This is what they got city hall for. You go down to city hall and get you a list, and a list will tell you how much is the land is for sale. Let's say that you went down to city hall and this little lot over here that's right next to our house. Let's say that was for sale, and they wanted twenty five, twenty five hundred dollars. Let's say twenty five hundred dollars, right? And that's that's their land. Now they got this such thing called gentrification. Where because we so close to downtown, where we so close to downtown, um, when they do the gentrification, that means that they, they're basically changing the scenery of the environment. So then let's say you bought this land for twenty five hundred dollars. And when you bought this land, it's not worth nothing. But when they do that gentrification, this land can go up to a hundred thousand dollars. 
because they want the whole the whole environment to be better. Are you understanding that? Yes. If you build a house on this land, if it's twenty five hundred dollars, exactly. Yes. Uh, if you put if you bought this land for twenty five hundred dollars and then you build the house on her, the value went up. It's not land anymore. Now it's land with property on it. Now you can sell the land in, well you don't even, if you wanted to, you can sell the land and the property at two separate prices. Did you understand that? You can sell the house for one hundred fifty. you can sell the house for $275,000, but then you can also go back to them and tell them, hey, but you also owe me for this land. Because I own the land. Okay, with credit. Now this is a tricky one. Do y'all know anything about credit? Exactly. But with this, with this butter, what have you won? Nothing. This is all. All this. This is what most material. This is what, what most people go after. Materialistic shit. This is materialistic. This is wealth. You cannot go wrong with this. There's no way that you can lose off of this. Even if you fix your credit, you know. Credit is basically, what? you know that you can be poor, but have great credit and be rich? Yep. So credit scores, I don't know all the, uh, all the details into the credit, but when you when you turn 18, you have such thing as a credit line in life. Let's just say credit line in life. And it starts off at 700, 780. How do you get it to go up or down? You pay your bills on time. You pay everything. It's like a loan service. They loan you. Let's say they gave you uh, two dollars. Let me. Let's say they gave you a house on credit. You came in and you show that you pay for a house, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you show them you pay for the house, they give you the house on credit and they let you let you loan this two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars, right? Um, when you pay this off and when you stay consistent on your on your payments, then your credit score and never fall down. But if you never make your payments, and I mean payments, everything, everything, your gas bill, your electric bill, your uh, your car note, your phone bill, all of this shit is based off of credit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't ever let nobody tell you, let you, let them, let you get them a phone or something off of your credit, because if they don't pay their bill, your credit score goes down. Use credit only when necessary. Huh? Let's say when you get 18 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And you ain't got no cell phone. You just want to go get a cell phone. Mm -hmm. This shit happened to me. Did it happen to you, Eric? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and somebody needs to go get you. And your homegirl just happened like, hey, we can get on a contract phone together, right? Mm -hmm. And shit, and, and things happen in life. People ain't able to pay their bill. They go through a struggle. Mm -hmm. They go through this and stuff like that. And you just being a friend and you get them. <laughs> You go ahead and get the credit card number based off of your credit. Then when they don't pay their cell phone bill, not only do you owe the not only do you owe the fucking um company. the company the bill company, then your score goes down. Ooh, even and if it's somebody else's. Even if it's somebody else's, when you put your credit score on there, you're saying that you are responsible for it. So you still have to pay. You gonna have to pay whatever is on there. And they don't, you, you can take them to court, but by the time you pay for the court to get the fees and all this other stuff, you done banged up more shit than actually just by saying no. Shit, that's pretty much what it's all down to. If, if you just would have said, no, I can't do that, and you got credit to do it yourself, then it wouldn't have led to none of this at all. This shit is very important. I done learned how to survive without it, but it's, it's harder to be broke than it is to be rich. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to tell y'all this. This shit right here, these guns, why they call it guns is because of this is your protection. You cannot go wrong with none of this shit that's right here. If you can you can lose, you can lose friends, you can lose family, you can lose loved ones by just going for this. But if you go for this, you cannot lose. You can pass, you can't pass this down to nobody. Nobody. You see that it gets too small, it gets stolen, and all this shit. You can sit, pass this down to your kids' kids, to their kids' kids, to their kids' kids. This is how you. This is how you take care of your loved ones. This is how you get yourself into a better school year. The school, what's that? You ain't gonna need no damn bodyguard, motherfucker. You ain't the pope. You ain't gonna. 
This is how you'll pay for a babysitter. This shit over here is the bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? It's the bullshit. But it's gonna protect you at all costs. Even if all that butter go there on drink, the gun still on here. You can buy more clothes, more shoes, more cords, more all that hygiene, all that stuff. All that shit. That's what you're gonna say. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you can build a school and have the government pay you for building that school. Don't keep on following after this materialistic shit. Do not keep falling from behind the building. You keep this material this shit. This is what's gonna have you broke. This is broke. No. You can also this, this is rich. No. You can also try to do an app. Oh, yeah, you can make an app. You see how they made Google and Google. But I'm saying it all over and, and whatever. You have to build something that can can keep. The only way to be wealthy is by building something that can ultimately bring you more profit. Where you're more, more of a seller instead of a buyer. You understand? Don't keep going for this shit. Don't trip off of this. Because this this is it's, it's a difference of everything in life. This is wealth. This is only trying to show that you are rich. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Two, one. And that's all for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Bye.